I got three reasons why Crypto.com will explode in price in 2022. So I recommend you guys to watch the entire video to understand what I'm thinking here and what's going to happen to Crypto.com in the future. And of course, if you do enjoy this video, it means so much for me if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And of course, guys, what do you think will happen here to Crypto.com in the next couple of months? Put your price predictions and what you think about the project in general so the first reason why i think the crow will basically explode in 2022 is because of the nfts now a ton of people know already that nfts have been booming for the last couple of months here huge huge celebrities have been talking about nfts have been buying nfts and we've been seeing that these nfts have been just exploding some even selling here by two hundred thousand dollars two million dollars five million dollars and etc so nfts are a thing right now and they're not gonna go away maybe they're gonna Gonna slow down but basically people are still interested in the NFT, nfts and plus nft gaming is a thing and so many are case uses here for nfts now a really good thing here that crypto.com did do is basically make their own nft marketplace if you go here the thing only with this marketplace is uh, you cannot make your own drops but you can get to see celebrity or artists basically nfts so these are high quality nfts with people who have some background so if you go check it out here if you go check out actually here they the main place you can see their drops every single week they're having some big drops here we got so many other ones collections that are happening pretty soon here this on the 10th the, the 11th this on the 12th so every single day we have new nft drops so this is why these guys are winning the game here at least for these uh nfts here look at this now crypto.com their own <laughs> nfts 4 million plus but look at this now Aston Martin, we got this guy here, so Ugonzo Art, and we got Snoop Dogg here, Boss Logic. So, the whole point of what crypto.com is doing is they're bringing like big names here to make NFTs. And once they sign some big, like big contracts to partner out with some huge, uh, like even bigger celebrities, they're gonna bring even more people into this. They by doing this, they are increasing the value of crypto.com because they're bringing more people onto the platform, and this is why it's super cool cool to see the way they are working they didn't make like i said uh, they didn't make like a decentralized open marketplace it is a centralized way of doing it where only uh select few people will be able to launch nfts but you do know that these nfts are going to be pretty much high quality nfts and that they are going to have some worth so there you go this is why it's pretty much interesting of course doing it in a decentralized way could be even better but the problem with that is you can have scams and all the rest of things and i don't think crypto.com wants to have these kinds of scams or rock pulls or people stealing nfts or like nft launches being just uh, hacked or something like that so they are protecting themselves from something like that so they're doing it in a way that's super professional and that's why i like seeing something like this so yeah high quality nfts that have potential to increase even more in the future we got these <laughs> zoom dog nfts that were in the past here so yeah pretty cool Pretty cool. I do like how everything looks here. This is the chart right now. This is how the coin does look like. Basically, we are still going down. Now, why did we go down? It was basically because Bitcoin did go down, but Bitcoin made a reversal here at the end. Like Bitcoin did stop going down at this level here. It did drop here, they bounce off, tried to go up, and now we're kind of stabilizing. A lot of people thought that we will continue to go down, but as you can see, we're still pretty much okay here for Bitcoin at least. But what's been happening here to Crow? Crow basically doing the exact same thing like Bitcoin, but it still continued to go down. So we got rejected at uh, 0.48. So I did talk about this before. This is my triangle, my last analysis. I did say that there's a chance we should be able to break to the top side. But as you can see, we right got here at 0.51 cents. We got rejected and then we continued to go down and we did go down we did go down here a lot as you can see this is just a giant funnel here where we do continue to go down even more so a good thing about these funnels is that in the end of the funnel you're gonna break down to the, you're gonna break to the top side when you have this this kind of wedge here this funnel here in the end you do break out to the top side now when is that gonna happen well people are estimating the bitcoin will go here to this level at 39,400 or something like that basically for bitcoin and then jump off and try to go 
up. So something like this where Bitcoin does continue to go down, stabilize maybe here, and then go down even more, hitting this level, stabilize here a little bit, bouncing off, boom, and continuing to go up to some newer highs. So people are estimating something like this is going to happen, that basically this appears to shake off the paper hands, and that's it. So for now, you're still pretty much okay. So that means that Crow will still continue to go down here a little bit more. So we're gonna still make some new lows. The lowest we can go is probably right over here right now, 0.37. That's if Bitcoin does hit that number, bounces off. This is the lowest number that Crow can go. I don't think we're gonna reach that number because it's still super low. That should mean that we're gonna have at least like a 20% decrease. Now, okay, 15%, 16% decrease, there you go. There, can we have a 16 to 15% decrease? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen here. Maybe about at this level here at 0 0.42. Something like that just looks a little bit more realistic if Bitcoin does bounce off at the 39. So, still a little bit more decrease here, about 10%. Until, okay, it's about 8 to 10%. And until then, we're still gonna continue to go down. And hopefully, when Bitcoin does bounce, Hopefully then crypto.com will also bounce with it. So going down and just bouncing off here, going back to these levels and doing some new, going to, through some new highs. Now, of course, this kind of thing is going to take a long time for us to go back to the all time high. Like we're still pretty much far away, but you have to remember, like I said, the whole crypto market is doing the exact, exact same thing. It is January only, so January is the worst month for everything because everything is just really bad because people are tired, it's the New Year's, and people are not into the business mood. But later on in the year, uh, things are going to change. Everything is just going to work a lot better because you have to remember, uh, people need to pay taxes right now. So people are paying taxes, they're taking some money out to pay some taxes. There you go. So like I said, January, worst month ever. But later on, I'm thinking March, we're gonna, I believe after March, we're going to see some nice increases here uh, for a ton of tokens. But for now, pretty much stabilization is key and trying to go up here a little bit. So yeah. Now, the second reason why Crypto.com will basically explode in 2022 is because these guys know how to do marketing. Look at this. They have their own Crypto.com stadium. So arena here. They bought an arena. I mean, come on. Now, some of you are gonna think like, that's the stupidest idea ever, but you have to check something out. If you check out, if you go here to their Twitter, you can basically see that these guys are heavily into the NBA. So they are uh, really, really connecting with different people here because a ton of people do like the NBA and these guys are helping NBA players or something like that. And basically just because of this, a lot of, peop a lot of people are just gonna go directly to crypto.com to purchase crypto and that's it. People who are interested into sports are going to go into the games and that's about it here. This is why I believe that Crypto.com is really doing a great job for marketing. Like look at this, 1.5 million followers on their Twitter. That's amazing. That's just a huge number here. Everything is good. Like the design, if you go to their website, it looks super crispy, super clean. The app looks so good when you do use it. Everything about it just looks professional and that's the whole point. Everything needs to look good if, if we want a product here to be able to be sold. If you want people to use your product, you even had your cards here, which is super important. I believe in the future where we have even more crypto adoption, a lot more people are going to start to use crypto.com. So this is why the value of crypto.com should be able to skyrocket even more than it is right now. It should be able to reach like even Binance or something like that because basically we still have a long way to go. It's a long way to go here to reach some astronomical numbers. So that's that was basically the second reason. The third reason is the community. So I've been seeing a lot of people are super interested into uh, crypto.com. The community here is pretty okay. It's not something like Shiba Inu, but it's still pretty okay where a lot of people are still interested into Crypto.com. They watch it every single day. They want to understand what's happening. They like the new news. You have to remember, Crypto.com has even their own blockchain. It's the Kronos. So if ever Kronos does start to like explode later on or start to just have more and more tokens, more quality tokens, then Crypto.com can just expand even more. It's the exact same thing that the Binance did deal with their Binance Smart Chain. On the Binance Smart Chain, a ton of tokens were being made every single day um, most of them were meme coins but still seeing that was pretty much amazing if something like that does happen here to crypto.com where a ton of people start to use their blockchain to make their own tokens then yeah 
an explosive increase could be happening here because the blockchain is going to be the center of everything. So there you go. This is what Crypto.com still has a long way to go with their utility, with everything they are planning. So yeah, guys, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, it means so much for me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.